In this video, we're going to look at how we can quickly and easily add data to a pre-built Power BI template using data shared with us through Databricks Delta Sharing. For the initial setup, the provider will have to create a recipient by going into the Databricks Data Explorer, opening up the Delta Sharing object, and going to the Shared by Me object. In there, you'll find the share that you want to add a recipient to and click on Add Recipient. This will bring up the Add Recipient dialog. You can either choose an existing recipient or, like in this case, create a new one. In the Create New Recipient dialog, we will add the recipient name. By omitting the sharing identifier, we acknowledge that we are creating a Databricks to open source recipient, which is what we want. Let's go ahead and click on the Create and Add Recipient. This will then return a link which we can send to the consumer. That's all the provider has to do to grant access. Now we'll look at it from the recipient perspective. On the recipient side, we'll simply paste the link into our browser and download the file to our desktop. You can only download the credential file one time, so be sure to keep it safe. With the data loaded, let's go ahead and jump into Power BI. Now, let's click on the Get Data icon in the ribbon, which will bring up our source browser. In the search bar, enter Delta Share and click on the Delta Sharing Source icon. This will then prompt us to add the Delta Sharing server URL, which can be found in our downloaded credential file. Let's open it up and copy and paste the URL into the text box. If this is the first time setting up the data source, it will prompt you to add the bearer token, which can also be found in the credential file. Once the credentials have been added, Power BI will then create the connection to the provider's share and bring up an object explorer, allowing you to select the objects that you have been entitled for in your share. In this example, we are building a standard candlestick chart. So we're going to select the daily price table, which provides us with the high, low, open and close prices for a small portfolio of stocks, which will allow us to build a dynamic candlestick dashboard to view historic price movement patterns. Now that the data is loaded, I'll start adding the needed elements to the dashboard. First, let's select the chart element. I'll then add the date to the axis and make sure that we're not using the date hierarchy. Then we'll drag the high, low, open and close prices to the respective fields. At this point, we have a basic candlestick chart. Now, I want to add the tickers to the ticker filter. Click on the top element in the workspace, then drag ticker from the daily price table into the category field. You can now see that the visual has been populated with the tickers from our table. I'm going to take a quick look at these settings to make sure that multiple selection is deselected so we only view one ticker at a time. The last thing we need to add is the ability to quickly navigate time. The element on the left side of the workspace is a slicer object. We can just drag the date into the field, which will populate the dates on the left side. I don't want to see each individual date, so I'm going to go ahead and select Date Hierarchy, which will give me a breakdown of different time formats. In this case, I just want to see the year and the month, so I'm going to eliminate quarter and day. With this in place, we can now expand the years and find a particular month, or we can view the year as a whole. And by clicking on the tickers up top, you can change the companies that you are viewing the data for. So in a few minutes, we were able to build a useful visualization using data shared through Databricks Delta Sharing. In this case, the data provider was able to share their stock pricing data to a consumer outside of the Databricks platform, allowing the provider to meet their customer in the tool of their choice.